Hello! These are my bookshelves and this is my bookshelf tour. This is a video that has been asked for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I know that it's something you guys have wanted for a long time. I know it's something you guys wanted when I lived in my family home as well. And the reason I didn't do it there is because I knew that I had so many books that were in storage that I wasn't going to be able to show you. So now I have moved, I am properly ready. <laughs> about four months late to give you a bookshelf tour. There's no reason that I've waited to do this other than the fact that I just haven't had the need to film it until now. This is a video that I've been kind of umming and ahhing about because I always think you should make what you enjoy watching and a stereotypical bookshelf tour for me seems to be that you pull a book out, have that book on the shelf, say what the book is, put it back in, take another book out and just do that for all of your books. Now I've got a lot this isn't even all of them. <laughs> There's two more rooms filled with books and I just didn't want to film it like that nor do I enjoy watching those kind of videos but the kind of bookshelf tours I do enjoy are more just broad, these are my shelves, this is what this shelf is, this is what this shelf is. So this is hopefully what this video is going to be. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know because I'm filming the intro after I filmed all the shelf footage and I have to do a voiceover now for the shelf footage which is going to be interesting. So that's what you're going to be seeing. It's a bookshelf tour. It's something you guys have been asking for for a while. There is a mix of books on my shelves that have been bought for me by you guys, which is insanely kind, bought for me by family or friends, have been gifted slash sent to me as review copies from publishers or promotional brands and things. And also, of course, that I have bought myself. So that's the mix of the books that we've got. I'm not probably going to be going into massive detail about each individual book within this because I'm just not that would take me forever. I don't know what this voiceover is gonna be because normally when I record a voiceover I just go nuts and improvise. It, it's not gonna be scripted I can tell you that much. So enjoy the video. I hope you like it. I hope you learn something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hope that you guys enjoy it though because as I said a lot of people have been asking for this for a long time. So here is my bookshelf tour. Okay, let's tour my bookshelves. We're starting in my office, which has the two bookshelves that I bought with me from my old house. This is kind of random, to be honest with you. There's not really any law or ruling here. The top shelves are just whatever. <laughs> this is kind of my ARC slash promo shelves. These are the books I'm working on usually for some form of promotion. Books before boys, of course. And then again, more just random collections of series that I've kind of thrown together in this room. But this, this bit makes sense. This is my non-fiction. So we've got a mix of feminist essays and also historical non-fiction and apparently a couple of historical fictions as well. But generally, this is where I'll go to if I want to read anything that is a little bit more factual. So we've got a couple of feminist books that I've been absolutely loving at the moment. I'm trying to read more non-fiction so I can base my reviews off of more intelligible thoughts, I suppose. But these are a couple of really great ones from my shelf. Then we've got again another completely random shelf that is being guarded by my very, very full pin banner. I think I need to get a new one. And this is kind of Christmassy, I guess. Now for my bedroom where I have managed to achieve a rainbow. Please bow down in awe at my rainbow shelf because I'm honestly quite proud of this. This is the view I get from my bed every morning and it just makes me happy because who wouldn't be happy looking at a rainbow of books? It was a little bit of a struggle to be able to push this many books out of my shelves and yes I have split a couple of series up but I don't mind too much to be honest because I feel like this just looks really nice and it's very aesthetically pleasing the way they all come together and I now know that I have got a hell of a lot of blue and purple spined books because honestly most of these are just blue books as you can see. <laughs> Then we go into my lounge. This is the main event. This is where most of my books sit and I am super proud of the whole setup I've got in here. So we've got three, four, four bookshelves in here, three big ones, oh actually five bookshelves because I've got two little ones that are pushed together. Nice little pan around my room there. So there's the other two that are pushed together. I've got them all decorated with fairy lights that you can just get from Amazon. But honestly, this is just where all of my top books stay. These are the ones I just look at day in, day out, and I'm just super, super proud of. I have the fire burning on YouTube. And honestly, this just makes me so happy. When I moved in, this was like the first thing I did. And I haven't really changed it much since. This shelf doesn't really have much of a system to it. 
This is my Lord of the Rings shelf, which I am obsessed with. I am slowly building my collection wider and wider of Tolkien books because he is just amazing. But I've got these really lovely illustrated front covered ones. They're not illustrated on the inside, but the outside is the original front covers, which I adore. And I love my little leather bound ones as well. They're just so beautiful. See these ones, the original covers reprinted, amazing. Those little leather bound ones, stunning. Little Saruman and my Lord of the Rings bookmark. I just, I love this shelf. Then we've got some of my really exciting hardbacks. I am much more of a hardback fan than I am a paperback fan. I absolutely love the way that hardbacks look when they're all up against each other. So again, these are a bit random, but these are kind of like my top highlighted ones, either in content or beauty. <laughs> then we've got my slightly shorter hardbacks because of course they can't all just be the same height. This one is stunning and the story is fantastic as well. Just oh, those covers, those spines, it's nothing more satisfying. This is a little bit of a Sarah J Mass shelf, but also just a general YA shelf of paperbacks that are all the same height. And honestly, I don't know what this one is. There's a mix of translated fiction, graphic novels, comic-esque books as well. And this one I feel like is my intelligent fiction shelf. This is like the figure it out who done it kind of books. And of course, we've got my Victoria Schwab shelf with the very many copies that I have got of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I stand by the fact that I think this is a good amount of copies. It's, it's definitely not too many. <laughs> Then my very long collection of the Fallen Kingdom series on the shelf above. This again is just loads of hardbacks that I have absolutely loved and just think are lovely and beautiful. And I just think they look so pleasing together like that. I just really, really love this whole section of the shelves. The way they just flow is so pleasing. But ultimately, this is the most satisfying shelf because Kingdom of the Ash, a Kingdom of the Ash, Kingdom of Ash is directly in the middle of the shelf. And I just think that looks so pleasing. And Crescent City, the start of me collecting multiple editions of the same book. My beautiful Poppy War collection. This again gets its whole shelf that it shares with the Caraval series. These spray pages are beautiful. This is the Illumicrate edition and I have absolutely zero regrets. Honestly, they are just absolutely stunning. This is one of my favourite series and these editions, beautiful. Then we've got my City of Brass shelf. These are the Fairy Loot editions. And again, they get a dedicated shelf because honestly, look at those sprayed edges. And I had to put my little water squirter there because it just seemed to work quite well with the whole brass theme. I adore this whole section. This is again a bit into a mayhem of organisation. I don't really know what it is. This is like my dark spines. There's a lot of dark spines here with my Lainey Taylor, Marissa Meyer. There's a couple here that are just kind of darker fantasy-esque as well. And then we've got having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. This is kind of a Neil Gaiman shelf and then it becomes a Cassandra Clare shelf or as I like to think of it, the IHA shelf. Yes, I don't like the Mortal Instruments, but yes, I still have for some reason the whole of the books because they look cool. This is my Funko collection. They're up there because it means I don't have to move them every time I dust. Although I probably do need to dust around them a bit more. My Greek myth or mythology, just generally mythology, not just Greek myth. There's Norse in there too. My little glowing moon. Again, you can get that from Amazon. I love the myth shelf very much. It looks very pleasing. This is my arcs. These are all arcs that I have read and haven't read as well. And then this is again, completely random. I don't know what this is. A little bit of Stephen King. It's kind of got some order to it. But yeah, there's the arcs again. My Greek and Norse myths. I hate Jay's shelf. <laughs> completely random and again completely random this I just don't know these are two of my narrower bookcases that I've just kind of popped together I guess these are just kind of hardbacks that fitted quite nicely up here a lot of them are fairy loot hardbacks from years back this is a very mini rainbow shelf with my hardbacks that annoyingly is split down the middle there but I did this quite recently and I actually really like the way it looks there's only a couple there but it looks pretty see it's pretty Daisy Jones and the Six mega great book brilliant this is my Books About Books shelf. I love this shelf, or basically my Collis Rose Zaffron shelf. The Shadow of the Wind is my all-time favourite book. It's a book about book. It's a mystery. It's absolutely superb. Collis Rose Zaffron is amazing. And yes, I have three editions of it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Why have you not gone to read it right now? Go, go read it after you've watched this video because yes. Then we've got my Thriller shelf. Thrillers I am getting more and more into. This isn't my whole collection, but this is the ones that go on this shelf and they are amazing. Philip Pullman kind of gets a whole shelf. He also shares it with a few classics, but he's kind of getting there. And David Attenborough, he gets his own shelf as well because he has signed this book for me when I met him back in 2018. It was amazing and nothing will ever beat that. This is my poetry collection, which is my most mismatched height-wise shelf and it pains me deeply, but 
it's okay, we're gonna get over it. Another random shelf of hardbacks. What could they be? What have they got in relation to each other? Nobody knows, but it looks nice. Hamilton, down there at the bottom with my non-fiction. A couple of these are really interesting, the feminism book, the literature book, they're really interesting non-fiction, picturesque infographic books. And then just a nice pan down shot of all of my lovely books. You can't really see the ones at the bottom normally because the sofa blocks them off, which is a little bit annoying. This is a view I get when I'm watching TV in the evenings and I love it. These are the books that sat on my coffee table, I just thought I'd give them some love. And then these ones are the ones I'm currently reading, so they weren't featured within the bookshelf tour, but I also do own them as well. I honestly just love sitting here and looking at that view because it just makes me feel so happy. But generally hardbacks are obviously taking up most of my shelves because I just think they look very pleasing. There is some method to the madness, I promise you. <laughs> may not look it, but yeah. So this is, these are my shelves. I hope you guys have enjoyed looking at them. There's also this little picture here that Lauren drew me from Fiction Tea and it looks over my shelves. It is a little illustrated drawing of what a bookshelf would look like if I owned my own little bookshelf, Book's Nest, number 15 apparently. I love that and I love the fact that it looks over the whole room and I can see it from every angle. Okay, that was it. That was my bookshelf tour. Did you guys love it? I think you probably loved it, didn't you? So those are all my books. As I said, there's a whole mix of where all these books have come from. I know that I'm very lucky to have these books. This isn't in any way me trying to brag. This is just something that I know has been asked for a lot. And I know that it's satisfying to look at books laid out nicely on a shelf. I'm very, very proud of my shelves at the moment. I've really worked hard to be able to get them to this stage. I've always wanted to be able to have my own little mini library and I always really wanted this kind of a setup with the TV and the bookshelves either side. It's just, it makes me very happy and I'm very proud of myself to be able to be at this point. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. You can comment anything you like down below. Let me know what your favorite shelf was out of the 20 million that I will have shown you. <laughs> or you can subscribe to see more of my face on your feed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep smiling and stay positive.